Here's your WTF Action News for Wednesday, June 19th. Scott Allen Schroeder from Presque Hill County has been arrested and charged following an investigation into child pornography. The charges stem from an investigation by detectives of the Presque Hill County Sheriff's Office, and the crimes are alleged to have occurred in February. The 52-year-old man faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted as charged. A 16-year-old boy died and another sustained major injuries after a crash in Clio Monday afternoon. The teens were driving on Field Road when the driver lost control while crossing the railroad tracks. The car went off the road and slammed into a large tree. The car caught fire after the crash, but witnesses were able to pull them out before the car became fully engulfed in flames. The passenger was pronounced dead and the driver's condition is not known. The Genesee County Sheriff's Office is investigating the crash. The Joy Road Bridge over US-23 near Ann Arbor is closed indefinitely while crews evaluate the damage caused when a semi-truck hit it on Monday night. The semi hauling a backhoe on a flatbed trailer hit the bridge and caused significant damage which was scheduled for replacement in 2025. The 51-year-old semi-truck driver was issued a citation and drivers must now seek an alternative route while the bridge closure is in effect. If a group of 12 Republicans have their way, the AR-15 would be named as the state rifle. House Bill 5792 has been criticized because the AR-15 and similar firearms have been used in multiple high-profile mass shootings over the past two decades. The legislation was introduced and referred to a committee, but insiders say it's highly unlikely that it'll make it out of the state house and senate or the governor's desk. The Alcona County Road Commission will meet today at 4 p.m. at the county garage. The meeting is open to the public and public comment is welcome. In observance of Juneteenth, the Alcona County Library and all its branches are closed today. The Hairskull Depot Committee will meet at the depot this morning at 10 a.m. Stand by. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and cue music. On this day in 1973, Edgar Winner's number one hit, Frankenstein, was awarded a gold record. Winner named the song because of how many cuts and patches were contained in the original studio tape. English keyboardist Peter Bardens was born on this day in 1944. During his career, Bardens worked alongside Rod Stewart, Mick Fleetwood, and Van Morrison. Bardens died in January of 2002. There's a chance of showers today after 5 p.m., otherwise cloudy, then gradually clearing with a high near 83. Winds from the southwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Scattered showers are possible overnight with a low around 59. Afternoon showers are possible on Thursday, otherwise mostly cloudy with a high near 67. WTF Action News is a public service of your local community radio station, WXTFLP Harrisville. Right here in Alcona County, Michigan.